Hey guys, welcome back to the channel all about life skilling. If you're familiar with the channel here, we all know I'm all about hunting down obscure locations or random objects to gather to show you what it would be like and how much silver it can make you. Today is no different with needing to make the oil of regenerations. If you're curious on how to make the oil of regeneration or just want to see how to use those fruits of crimson flame, get your alchemy tools ready and let's start making these oil of regenerations. In the last episode of Life of a Shy, I said I would be making some oil of regeneration and I'd be showing you how to make them, but what makes them worth making? The oil of regeneration can make the corrupt oil of immortality, elixir of assassination, and the elixir of frenzy when using alchemy for starters. These can make the elixir of regeneration and oil of void with simple alchemy and can make the flandor round carpet with shaking. One final thing the oil of regeneration is able to make is the armor black stones. Now let's get into making these oils. The recipe requires one legendary beast blood, one red tree lump, one fruit of crimson flame, and finally one powder of rifts. The red tree lumps can be obtained while gathering using the axe and higher gathering mastery. Workers can also gather these from several other lumbering nodes. And finally, these can be also bought from the central market. Fruit of Crimson Flame has to be obtained while gathering using the hoe and higher gathering mastery. Breeding plants while farming with higher mastery. And finally can be bought from the central market. Lastly, the powder rifts can be obtained while using workers at the Keplin Quarry node or the Omar Lava Cave node. These can also be bought from the central market too. For the legendary beast blood, the spirit's leaf can be obtained while gathering the red tree lumps. Workers can gather these while lumbering on nodes. And lastly, the central market is another place to obtain these easily. The pure powder reagent can be obtained while using alchemy on one sugar, one silver azalea, one wild grass, and one purified water. Or by buying them from the central market. Next on the list is the trace of the earth. These can be obtained by sending workers to the stone chamber node or by using the central market. Finally, for the blood I'll be using for the legendary beast blood, I chose the cuckoos, but not from Serendia north of Heidel. That'd be too easy. For this, the desert cuckoo near Altenov will be more than enough to get the amount of cuckoo blood needed. The desert cuckoo isn't normally killed for the feathers or meat, or even the blood, so it's perfect for getting what I need and not having to worry about another player coming. Normally, I would show you two hours of gathering these, but I only need around 800, so that can be done in less than 30 minutes. Now with all the ingredients ready, it's time to start brewing these oils of regenerations. Here in Olivia, I'm going to start with the legendary beast blood to make these oils. Gearing up and getting all my buffs ready, here's my mastery. My alchemy time is 1 second and lower, so let's start. When making legendary beast blood, there are several bloods that can be used. I personally went with the cuckoo just because it's different and the crafting cost is going to be lower. For those of you who are wondering, normally I'd go ahead and kill lizards for the blood, but because I want to be different, cuckoos will have to do. With all the legendary beast blood coming to an end, it's time to start making these oils and seeing how much I can make. I'll only be making 500, which will require 500 of each ingredient to make. It's simple, and I already have some oils made, so this will add to the stockpile when I need to use it. Making the elixir of indignation will require the elixir of frenzy, so these are going to be saved like the last episode. But as always, I will show you how much this will all make. Comment down below if you've made the elixir indignation when it came out, or you just didn't bother touching these. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a like if you enjoy the life skill and content here on the channel. Commenting, subscribing, and leaving likes will help grow the channel, and it is always greatly appreciated. Back to brewing the oil of regenerations, this is a nice way to attempt to get the mysterious catalyst for those alts and get those contribution points. Alongside those, the shining powder is great to have when making those alchemy stones. I am glad that these oils are more valuable than the oil of storms that I made in the last episode. That was just so sad to see the end amount of silver I made. 
With all the hope in the world on my side, let's see if these will make me a fortune or if I'm going to end up crying in the far corners of Trent. If you barter a lot or just have six sailors, this is a great item to have. If you need to craft any of those elixir of regenerations, I'm not sure about the value of making those to sell yet, but I'll have to check them out and see if they're worth selling. It might get me back into bartering again needing those 100 crow coins. For those trying to make the obsidian specter's energy, the oil of regeneration is needed to make the oil of void. These can be combined with the Akira's Tide to make the Reason of Akira. Sadly, I don't have any Black Star gear yet to make, but it's always good to know, right? Now that the oils are getting done, here's how many I was able to make, but let's head to Velia to see how much all of this will make when I go to sell it. Here in Velia, listing the oil of regeneration I made during this session, I was able to make a little under 450 mil. It's not too bad for already having all the ingredients or just taking the time out to manually gather it. With all the rare drops, it does make it worthwhile manually gathering these. So because I plan to make at least a thousand elixir of indignations, I'm gonna need a lot of oil and all that I can get. Who knows, maybe eventually I can get the money together to get the Black Star gear, but with those prices being a little bit too Hi, my next goal is getting one of those pen manos gatherers clothes. Mob grinding, we'll just have to wait. Keep in mind, this is not meant to be the best gathering or alchemy guide, nor should it be taken as such. This was just a fun way to show you how to make the oil of regeneration and use those fruits of crimson flames. You should just enjoy the game at your own pace. If you want to see another way to make money in Black Desert Online, or just want to see another way to level those skills, be sure to click this video here, and I will see you in the next episode of Life of the Shy, where I'm going to be killing those stone rhinos for their blood. I know, we're always collecting blood here.